This is our second. Uh, this is our second children's home that we support, and you can see them needing a vegetarian meal, G bomb space because of your support. But uh, right now, we're only at where we're able to do the fruit three days a week, and we want to get it to where it's every day. So I'm going to keep saying this every single video. I don't care how much um, the demonic spirits of leeching causes people to get upset with me for doing this. If you are benefiting from the Minister of Wellness Ministries, then you are obligated to give and to give so that we can help these children to make sure they have fruit all seven days of the week. And I told you all we need 1500 per orphanage. And the amount of money that we waste in America on junk food and stuff that we don't need is no excuse why we can't reach that. So if you're watching this and you're listening to this and you're one of the ones that are leeching off of this ministry, then I ask you for the sake of your soul that you go ahead and unsubscribe and watch somebody else because uh, it's just wrong. It's just flat out wrong. And you heard her that we need your continued support. So all the ways to give, you see it right there on the screen. Do the right thing um, and stop trying to make a full-blown missionary that spends 95% of what he makes on the children and on the missionary work. Uh, do not, don't you dare try to make me feel guilty for requiring you to do what uh, the word of God requires you to do. And that is to feed the fatherless and to support the poor and to support uh, the elderly. That is a responsibility that we have as believers. Thank you very much. Again. Thank you for the support the Minister of Wellness. All right. Yeah, I, I received the story. I uh, appreciate it, uh, Brother Eric. I, I've been focusing on the health testimonials that you all should be watching to to prove to you what I say, how stupid the wisdom of this world is. These doctors are stupid. They're murderers. They're sorcerers. They're witches. And no believer in Jesus Christ, Yahshua, Yeshaya, uh, the great I am, Ahaya, Ashar, whatever name that you want to argue about black folk when it comes to uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and God, our Father, the God of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the African, Hebrew, Israelites, whatever you want to argue about denominations and all this stuff. You have no business going into no doggone hospital. OK, this medical industry, I mean, it, a, a pole with two snakes, snakes wrapped around it, that, that has nothing to do with the most high or his ways. He has a healing system that's completely different. And so I'm proving that to you that an uneducated man with no degrees, no certificates, no credentials, no nothing. Me, I'm a preacher. I am a preacher. And I humbly admit that because sometimes you all you you get so excited with me and you ask me questions beyond the scope of what I know. And I'll point you in a direction. And I'm not anti doctor. I'm anti these. I'm anti witchcraft and sorcery as the Bible describes. And that's what pharmacia is. And it's a sin to participate in that. But I promote doctors. Who teach God's medicine, God's way of healing, which comes from nature. I encourage people to seek out a real doctor. 
Don't talk, don't tell me about the physician Luke in the Holy Script. What the heck does Luke have to do with a pole and two snakes wrapped around it? No, Satan has sabotaged the word medicine and healing and we have to take it back. I'm for clinics that teach people how to heal their body. We have clinics that are rising to where you can go into the clinic and they heal you God's way. I'm for that. But this system that the Bible calls sorcery, we have no business participating in it. So I focus a lot of my stuff on the health success stories. And then when the brother who's a regular donor of the ministry. And when he when he sent me this article on Darius Morris, I was trying to wait. Why would a brother the brother play for the Lakers? He was 33 years old. Why is he dead at 33? Here we go with this unknown cause of death nonsense. I'm so sick of this crap. Stop lying. Stop lying. No, he just dropped dead at 33 and we don't have no car. No, that's nonsense. Now they talking about he died after his father was accused of fraud. So now what are you saying? The brother killed himself. I mean, say, I mean, cut the nonsense. Don't know. Ain't nobody just former NBA player. At 33 just dropped dead and don't nobody know nothing. Nobody know why you can't pull that mess with me. I was a police officer, 70. I showed up to many scenes where somebody died. You didn't leave until you had an idea what happened. I'm telling you all this. Listen to your brother. You did not leave the scene. I could not leave that dead body until I had some idea what happened. We had to call homicide, medical examiner. We would be there for hours sometime until we knew what happened. So somebody was getting locked up. He ain't just showing up and, oh, you, oh, we don't know. No, oh, no. No, somebody has to answer. Why a 33-year-old basketball player dead? Somebody got to answer. You get, or you going, we going to either figure it out here in the house or we going to figure out why you in jail. Oh, no. That's not how that works. So all these young brothers just dying left and right and they telling us we don't know. That's a lie. So I was trying to wait and see if the truth came out. And then if you're listening to this live Wednesday, May the 15th, I'm praying that the most high bless it because I, I now have to, I had to leave uh, Kenya because the floods have destroyed millions of homes, thousands of people, lives, millions of lives have been destroyed because the floods ravaged Kenya. Because Kenya worships the ways of the West. They worship. They sold that the leaders have sold their souls to the devil for, for the West. And you know what happens to an African nation that turns his back on God. God don't mess around. Swift destruction comes. And so that's what happened. So we came here and I've been in Tanzania, I've been preaching. Maybe I can get to upload one of I think one of the videos are safe enough because it was short. It was a motivational speech I did at a school. And I might be able to upload that. If not, of course, the Unleashed News channel, $10 a month, and you can view all the uncensored content. My full-length health sermons there. But family, please don't ignore the commercials, the gig, because this has hurt me tremendously. For some, again, Africa, sitting here depending on the very people that hate us and want to destroy us. And so they have a cable line running in the Red Sea, and they're saying possibly because of the war between Israel and Palestine that there was some intentional sabotage to where the line was cut. So that, I mean, no internet, the whole country, entire country, 60 million people, government, hospitals, banks. And so I haven't been able to come live or do anything. And as you can imagine, that, that greatly hurts the ministry. And, you know, we have hundreds of uh, children and we build in our first home for one of the poor who was affected by the floods. And so, brothers and sisters, I thank you for your love and support and your financial support. Yesterday, I got a, at least a couple emails out. And so we had some support that came in. I was very thankful for that. So, brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm just ask, I'm just saying I, you get my hint, brothers and sisters, right now. The Minister of Wellness Ministries, we have been severely affected.
by this nationwide power outage. And so I'm going to be making the trip back to Kenya. And so your love and support is great, is direly needed and it is greatly appreciated. And I'll leave it at that. So back to brother Darius and may he rest in peace and the brother, his family, friends and loved ones. He played four years in the NBA. He played for the Lakers. The Sixers, the Clippers, the Grizzlies, the Nets. He was selected uh, in the second round. He was six foot four. He averaged 3.3 points, 1.1 assists. His best season was in 2013 to 14. You know, so he was a professional ball player. He had a standout career in Michigan. They're not mentioning a wife. They're not mentioning children. All they're saying is that the cause of death has not been reported. So what is it? Is it the medical decision? Is it the medical decision? Because he started in 2020 at the height of the pandemic. Did that kill him? Are we are we looking at another satin? Because there is so many people dying from that that they have made these devils and made up a name called sudden adult death syndrome. You all ever heard of Sid Sutton infant death syndrome? Do you all know that this evil government has locked up millions, uh, thousands of parents? I won't say millions, probably it, but thousands of parents have been tried and convicted because that baby suddenly died. And because they don't want because God forbid that it's the sacred cow of the pole with two snakes wrapped around it. And you all know I cannot dare to say the name. I have to I have to say medical decision. The old okie doke, the God of the pole with two snakes wrapped around it. Uh, even more powerful idol than maybe even the belly God, because, you know, the belly God is way up there. When you talk about false gods that we worship, the belly God is way up there. But this one, oh, this one might be even beat the belly God. And we have kids, babies, and they'll die from this trash. And they'll blame and lock up the parents. Yeah. They'll do anything, even bearing false witness and locking up innocent parents. Then to put the blame where it should be when these babies get come out of the hospital from getting all of this trash pumped into their bloodstream and then they die suddenly. And now so many since the pandemic have been dying that they're calling this sudden adult syndrome, death syndrome, just making stuff up. That's what they do. Just make stuff up. So did that play a role? The brother's 33. That means he was raised on fast food. These days we seeing athletes dropping dead. Did that play a role? Did he commit suicide? They probably would have said that. They would have said that. Who knows? We have everything in stock, brothers and sisters, except for the DHA EPA. It'll be back soon. But all orders are caught up. Our inventory is full. Listen, when you support the Minister of Wellness Ministries online store at the retail cost, it truly helps us out because we use the profits to fund critical ministry expenses, such as funding our missionary work, financially supporting our small team of workers, and paying the thousands of dollars of monthly bills related to running this healing ministry. Running sales are great on rare occasions, but overall, they hurt the financial health of the ministry. I know you all love them, but overall, it hurts the financial health of the ministry. So please consider this next time you're in need of supplementation. The Minister of Wellness labeled and approved organic iris sea moss, organic vitamin C, organic superfood powder, herbal extracts, and much more of the highest quality and potent, a brand you can always trust but also you can have the peace and joy of knowing that every dime of profit is being used to support this one of a kind revolutionary healing ministry. If you need help placing an order, please call 888-847-8026. That's 888-847-8026. Call or text that number 
888-847-8026 or you can visit our vast online store at theministerofwellness.com knowledge is power brothers and sisters don't forget about your knowledge uh, i am the author of five books your minister of wellness five books lose 100 pounds in 100 days that's a book based on a real life life testimonial help the brother lose 100 pounds in 100 days his exact meal plan and exercise plan is in that book along with the 12 components of food addiction at the end biblical principles that eradicate obesity and all disease it covers the top killers and how eating healthy a change in what we eat can help eradicate those diseases according to the word of god exposing the deadly slave theology of the black church concerning health and nutrition uh, Jesus will bless you, your junk food saying grace uh, under the new covenant. We don't need to worry about the dietary laws. These critical theological issues revolving food, nutrition, and our walk with Christ is covered in that book. Exposing the satanic religion of the you know what. Such an important yet controversial book. I can't even show the cover on the screen and then the latest book that i made right here for the motherland is the homosexual war that's being waged to remove africa from god's divine protection the minister of wellness.com under books the minister of wellness.com under books or call 888-847-8026 call or text 888-847-8026 888-847-8026 Eight four seven eighty twenty six. The Minister of Wellness Complete Detox Package, brothers and sisters, I created this package specifically to help detox from the medical decision. You should realize I'm using, I'm being very careful in using cold language and all toxic overload that taxes our system, weakens our immune system. I put together, I, I had this before due to extreme censorship. I had to be, use wisdom and I had to bring it back in a different manner, but it is back by popular demand. You get the, the very powerful immune support, detox, gut health, mental health, reduce inflammation, the iris sea moss, the dull seaweed, and then you see that spot there, my book. Again, I have to be smart and use wisdom. This is the book that I have exposing the medical decision, and it has the full detox plan for the medical decision. And this is all of them, all of these poisons that we've taken since our childhood, the overload of toxic exposure that is taxing our system. This is my complete detox package. The Minister of Wellness.com, The Minister of Wellness.com, or call 888 847 8026. 888 847 8026. Another brother was supposedly living the dream. Every black boy want to play in the NBA. He made it, and the dream turned into a nightmare. Just because you make it don't mean you go play 20 years like Kobe Bryant, but then he played 20 years. And where is he at now? He's gone. Tragic death. Maybe it's not the best dream to spend your whole life Wanting to entertain the very people that if you stood up and told them the truth, they would hate you. Uh, I, it just never ceased to boggle my mind. The dichotomy between the contrast, the comparison between two dark bald head black men that were at the peak of their power at the same time. On one end of the equation... You have Michael Jordan, white folk loving them, white women throwing their underwear and bras at them. White men love them, want to be like Mike, screaming and shouting for that bald head black man as he wagging his tongue, flying through the court. Then 
at the same time, there's another dark skinned black man. There's another black man with a bald head, but oh, they don't love him. No, white folk hate him. White folk censor him. White folk feared him. His name was Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad. May he rest in peace, I say to him. Long live the spirit of Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad. Be that type of black man. Be that type of black man. See, when they cheer you and they love you, and you know it's fake. Michael Jordan know it's fake. He knows it. Look how they treated him when he was the owner of the Wizards. He knows it. But he decided to play it safe. You think that really gives him peace at night? You'll never be one of them. And if you dare, you dare to make any type of stand, you, they'll crush you. So go out like, be like Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad. All he was doing was speaking the truth. And you see the same ones that cheered Michael Jordan hated Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad. They only love you black man when you entertain them. The moment you decide to use your power to tell them the truth about their sales and their history. They will despise you. They will hate you and persecute you. Just like Jesus said they would do. Just like Jesus, the greatest black man that ever lived. That's what he said. You expose their darkness. They will hate you and persecute you. But it's much better to go that way, because even though I don't agree with him. In any shape, form or fashion on most of the things he stood for. The great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, if you are not living your life fighting for a cause that's worth dying for it, then you're dead anyway. So I look forward to the day when we stop being 40 million dollar slaves. And we maximize our potential to do good and for the betterment of mankind. And let's not lie, brothers and sisters, let's not lie to ourselves. We know that most of these professional athletes, they spent their whole lives doing what they do for purely selfish reasons. To be rich, famous, to have all the women, all the girls, and then take care of their close inner circle. But all these boys, these black boys playing football bad with aspirations to be professional athletes, they're not aspiring to become that so they can make a change that affects our people on a large scale. They're doing it for selfish reasons. The most important package that I have for this time is the immune support emergency stash. So this is when, not if, when the next deadly pandemic comes and, and when we're locked back down, you don't want somebody coughing in your household and they don't have anything for their immune system. This is the time to get it. It'll be impossible to have these in stock when the masses are panicking. It's already priced at 50 percent off. You don't need a promo code. Get your stash for your immune system. The Minister of Wellness dot com. The Minister of Wellness dot com. This is the second package that I have. The Black Health Disparities Package. If you have comorbidities, you're not going to stand a chance. This package covers obesity, blood pressure, immune, diabetes with the blood sugar, and all diseases fall under inflammation. You get all five. There's no promo code needed. It's already, it's already priced at half off, 50% off. No promo code needed. TheMinisterOfWellness.com. TheMinisterOfWellness.com. The big five brothers and sisters that are the most important, that is absolutely essential or you will be deficient. If you're deficient, you can't have an optimal immune system for the next pandemic. Vitamin D3 with K2. D3 with K2. B12, DHA, EPA, and zinc. Those are the big five. And we have those five available, organic, high quality, and potent. The Minister of Wellness.com on the store. The Minister of Wellness.com on the store. Or click the link in the description box and pin comment section. You cannot eat fruits 
If you're infested with parasites, those demons called parasites will sabotage your goals to be healthy. So the Minister of Wellness Ministries, we are affiliated with Zuma Nutrition. I have taken their parasite detox package with great success, and I know it will help you relieve vicious cravings so you can eat the medicine foods of God without it feeling like it's torture. The Minister of Wellness dot com under store to purchase the parasite detox package or click the link in the description box and pin comment section so the ministry can get the credit for your purchase.